Hello everyone, my name is Tyler Curitan. I am the technical director here at Stephen F. Austin State University's theater department. Um, because we can't have an actual theater day where you guys get to come in and tour our facilities, um, I am going to give you guys a tour of our shop and let you kind of see what goes on here and what it looks like firsthand. Um, that way if you have any questions, you just let us know. All right, here we go. And so, and this begins our tour of the Stephen F. Austin University Theater Scene Shop. Um, as you walk through the doors, this is our lobby. Um, as you can tell from the outside and you kind of use your imagination from the inside, this used to be a, an old uh, theater, movie theater, a cinema if you will. We have our props on this side where we can build and paint cut foam, we have drafting tables over here, and on the opposite side where we paint, kind of do our last minute touch-ups and things on props on this side. Our lobby is basically used for anybody kind of waiting before class um, or before work or even after, and you can eat lunch or kind of snack and chill out, do some homework or something um, in between your work or class time. We do have bathrooms on both sides. And as we start going into the shop, you'll see storage areas with casters and different things. Um, our lockers for your personal belongings or work clothes, things like that, um, so that you don't get your nice clothes dirty. Uh, we do have our first aid safety equipment in here, all of our PPE. Um, we have our earmuffs, earplugs, gloves, and protective eyewear as well. We usually have our task board here. Right now it's just stay clean, stay safe. So hope you guys are doing that. We do have our sanders as you walk in, um, hardware. And you can tell that the space is actually very large. Um, it's big enough to where we can construct an entire set, get it painted, and have either actors walk on it or a director look at it and kind of give a once over before we break it down and have to take it over to um, the theater or to whatever performance space that we're using. As we walk through you can see where our clamps and hand tools things like that are over in this area. We do have three band saws here on the wall, a drill press, all of our drills and chargers, um, if you notice this big conduit right here, um, all this tubing is actually for our central exhaust system. Um, all we have to do is hit a button and turn it on, and we can actually suck out any of the debris, uh, whether it be fumes or sawdust or anything like that, to kind of keep our students safe and keep the air clean while we're breathing, so we don't breathe any of that in. Um, you'll have to forgive the mess. We do have some units still out right now because we were unable to put on our opera this year because of uh, COVID-19. So I've been having to break everything down and store it. Um, and so that's just a slow moving process. Um, as we walk through, you can see our lumber storage as well as our saw stop table saw on this side. Our campus has gone with saw stop um, for safety reasons. Um, it does have a mechanism that's built in to where if you get your hands close to the blade, the blade will actually drop out and won't cut your fingers off, which is always a positive. <laughs> we don't need that. This is our loading door that will go to our truck. Like I said before, we have to break down our set pieces to get those out uh, the door and into the truck and then moving it on to our performance space. We have our radial arm saw with table here. More storage for lumber. We have our sanders and our routers as well as two compound miter saws. One is on this side, one is tucked away back there behind the platform. Um, all of our pneumatics um, if you can see in this video, it's kind of difficult, but those red lines going up, that goes out to our air compressor outside, and they're constantly running. Um, so all we have to do is pull those down, plug in our pneumatics, and we can just start working. 
um, as well as power. We have electrical lines coming down that we can just pull down and plug in sanders, routers, anything that we need at the time. Um, looking back towards that hallway that we came through, if you see the stairs going up top, that is our paint loft. Um, the paint loft is actually big enough to where we can unfold an entire drop that can fit in Turner Performance Center. And we can you know, have our students paint it up here, have it dry and ready to go to be moved in. I'll give you a quick look of the paint loft storage. And just to give you a reference guide on how big this space is up here, these uh, the two flats right here are actually 8x12s. So the fact that we have two 8x12s right here with plenty of space around them and plenty of space this way kind of gives you an idea of how much we can do up here. Um, and anything that we build downstairs we can bring up top for the paint crew to go ahead and paint for us. And everything can actually be complete here at the shop before we take it out. We're now in the back door outside of the theater shop. This is our theater box truck that we use to transport all of our scenic pieces. Our bay door here and our back door as well as our metal shop. Um, we do weld and cut metal and everything like that out here. We have a storage head in the back and we also have storage off site as well. All right guys, well that is a look at our shop um, here at SFA. Um, I did want to go ahead and let you guys know about work study and student workers here at the shop. I do hire every semester um, different student workers, new student workers, um, or rehire. Um, all you have to do is contact me. We can set up an interview and go through everything. With work study, all you need to do is go through financial aid to make sure that you qualify. Um, as a student worker, you just got to come talk to me if you don't qualify for work study and we can see what we can get started for you. Um, hope you've enjoyed our shop. I know we enjoy it and I cannot wait for our students to get back and us to get back to normal and start working and building new shows. Stay safe out there, guys.